Welcome back to The Crew 2. The previous videos I did on this game, um, uh, I'm not borrowing this car, I actually just bought it a few hours ago. Um, I'm recording this at like nearly 2 in the morning for some reason. Yeah, like 6 minutes to 2 in the morning. What the hell's going on over there? Okay, so this... Quick little showcase of its performance. I threw off all the upgrades on my X-Class and threw them on this, ready for any more raid events. Oh yeah, and here's a little tutorial on how to counteract rubber banding opponent cars on the crew too. Get this bike because it's got good speed and it's got good handling and it's got awesome acceleration. Two. Watch this. One. Go back to the tracks where you belong. For some reason, this guy's on a bike too. Okay, now I have... Okay, the only challenge I think for me is going to be, um, oh, for God's sake. I think the only challenge for me is going to be Tio's GTR. Look at that thing. But see that thing in front of the Corvette? That's his car. We need to show him who's boss, and we need to show him that rubber banding is not the way to do this shit. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. This is how you take corners. Get off my back to you! You may be in the lead, but not for long. You're smart. Teal just got a wake up call. But not smart enough. You see, I can take corners tighter and I have acceleration when I need it. Going down the sewers, I don't know. But, ah, tunnel. He needs to wake up. Jumps aren't the way to beat some pony. They'll slow you down, you see. <laughs> you see, this is how to counteract rubber banding opponent cars on the crew too. Get this bike. It's worth it. And it's a and it's a snip at 57 grand, so it's not a bad price either. I worked out a strategy for tighter corners. Handbrake. Yep, I hold square. It's all right. Gets me around the corner at least at good speed. And I can boost my way to victory. Okay, I think I'm coming up to the halfway point. Now. Right, let's hold this lead. Hold this lead. Oh, it's this yellow American hillbilly Rodney. He wants my butt. He wants this Saturn flank. But you ain't gonna get it. <laughs> Come and get it, big boy! Ha! <laughs> what the hell am I doing? Okay. People, listen. I'm just being weird here. I am being, I am, I'm just a kid who likes to have a laugh with some games and tease the AI drivers and make them a bit pissed off and give them a bit of a, a nice view. <laughs> I did just make a butt joke. Um. Just got out the building. Uh, yeah, this thing is not good at jumps, but I can just say to you safely that it's decent. Decent enough to get up even the smallest hills, and that's it. Just make sure you get a good run up, and as long as you've got decent speed and a full tank of boost, then you can go ahead and let her rip. <laughs> what was that? I sound like I was trying—I was constipated or something. Oh, hello, Tio's back. Don't take that jump, okay? Do not take that jump unless you want to get slowed down and get caught in the pack. Which is exactly what I have done. Unless you want to be a bit of a yobbo. Nice counteracting move right there. You see, you see, Tio had trouble getting around that corner because of his car. And the fact that it's four-wheel drive and unstable acceleration. 
Well, I would say the GTR is unstable. I, I think it's pretty well balanced as a car, as a sports car, because it looks absolutely beautiful. And the fact that it's been around for over 11 years, I think it's been... I think it's a brilliant car and it's brilliant... you're going to remember this defeat for a long time. That nearly, that nearly cost me the win, but I managed to do it. Got him. Got him. See y'all later. Right, let's go ahead and plop our new parts on. Perfect. Watch this acceleration, okay? That was like 0 to 60 and like nothing. Next time, we're taking on the freestyle boss.